This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And these are hop, ha- halflings. 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 There's a monster in my podcast. It's a halfling song. My name's Halfling. Pronounced with the halfling. I'm a tall follow. Mm. Um, this is weird for character class uh, entries in that this has like almost no, like there's very little information. Yeah. So much so that Harefoots aren't given their own entry. Like it's up at the top, but they don't actually have any text that's specific to them. Like, I just wonder if that was a weird, like maybe they considered changing the name of Halflings to Harefoots and they just didn't mm. do the find replace, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe. Like, the, like no, there's nothing about those stats that says anything. That, no. the, that they wouldn't just be the regular bog standard halflings, not not to be confused with bog halflings or boglings. Yes, boglins. Um, they're pretty boring. Yep. Um, if, if you're aware of hobbits, then you yes. know what a, what a, what a halfling is. Uh, they do not bring in the kender uh, as part of this, which are different kind of things, just like dragonlance gnomes are a different kind of thing. They've got the tinkers yes. and stuff. Um, no, they just have like different, again, small, medium, large of these guys. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they can either and well, and they're just like kind of adjacent. So it's like, harefoots are just ha- are just hobbits, um, and then tall fellows are kind of elfy, mm-hmm. and set ones are kind of dwarfy. Yeah, and that's really all there is to it. Um, yeah. And it just kind of lays out their powers if you were going to play one in a campaign. Right. Um, they seem like weirdly OP to me. Like a plus yeah. three on bows, right? You know, like consider like if you were playing a fighter character in this, a plus three on bows means you are as effective as a fourth level fighter. Yeah. Um, that's kind of that's that's a little bit bonkers. Yeah, I always feel like um, there's an awful lot of kind of overcompensation when something goes down a size class like mm. this. Like you, you know, uh, dwarves get around that by effectively being being medium for most purposes, aside from the advantage they get on uh, on giant attacks, right? Yeah. But uh, but for halflings and stuff, like I always felt like all of them got the better end of the stick compared to kind of the the disadvantages they take for being smaller. You know? and of course, and, and later in, in 3.5, you'd have like level disadvantages. Like it would take more XP. Yeah, yeah. To level you up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but as is, they're just they're just hobbits. <laughs> um, and I don't know why they could like. Do you think that they could have just they like, couldn't have used hobbits? Is that copyrighted? I guess it has oh, to be. Right? Oh God, it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think. I mean, that has to be what's going on here. Yeah. Ha- that, otherwise, there's no excuse for just like like sort of dwarfs. You know. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I, I guess I just have to, like, yeah, it has to be that because they had they, they protected that. Um, but weirdly, like, it's just the name. Like, conceptually, they're the same thing. Yeah. 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 Um, is it one, it's one of those things where you think about Lord of the Rings and uh, it's, you know, it's obviously kind of birthed, you know, more or less birthed the fantasy genre. Like, I know of our gargantuan pantagruel. Don't at me. Yeah. But, like, it, it, it kind of birthed that genre. Yeah. Um, but it also did like tons of harm by setting in place these these stereotypes. Yeah. You know, like it's not like hobbits are that interesting, but like if you're going to do a fantasy game, you have to have an analog for them because otherwise. Because otherwise, you know, people, right. well, I mean, obviously, like <laughs> otherwise people are going to complain. A fucking riot. <laughs> you know? like, yeah. I will fucking kill the next but, dungeon master who doesn't put halflings in this campaign. But like the like the hobbits work as a characterization for Bilbo. Like in this in this race or you know the, the this people that kind of very uh, that, that very um, outwardly likes sticking around home and having you know and, and eating just kind of like these very these very real creature comforts. Right. You know, yeah. the very, very, very like just simple needs almost as long as they stick around home. Like Bilbo makes a lot of sense that like something has to come along to bring him out of that, you know? Yes. Um, but hobbits outside of that one particular character, like nothing about Frodo says, hey, I'd really just kind of like rather stick back here and eat my sausages from my larder because fuck, yeah, I'm going to eat some sausages and drink some, uh, some alcohol. It's, pre- it's pretty much like just rural England, like just yeah. village green life. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty much hot buzz. <laughs> you know, hot, hot fuzz foot yeah. like the uh fuzz foot. the yeah. uh yeah so it, it's a uh, it, it's 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 pretty silly as, as a thing not in favor of it yeah. um yeah. i got no jokes Neither do I'm, I. I'm trying to think i'm trying to think of a good way to end this <laughs> uh I, um, I think if we stand still in vegetation uh we'll turn invisible and people will just kind of tune away yeah, that's good. We can just fade out this episode. Yeah, I think we can. We can just keep kind of talking and the, the words will just kind of fade out. And then, uh, you know, eventually just another episode will appear in a couple of days. And yeah, we can all I think just so. Forget about this because it's, it's, I'm surprised that we lost to halflings. 
<laughs> we got a real far without like a like a definitive loss, but we, yeah. for those mighty creatures, the, the intro <laughs> to Lord of the Rings was right. <laughs> like these unassuming creatures that no one suspects <laughs> well, because are actually the most spe- deadly of all. There's nothing special about them. But they actually did us in. That's amazing. Oh, that's crazy, right? Well, we're yeah. already silent at this point, so. Yeah. It's... Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv.